إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة. The next question, Fahim Hassan from Bangladesh he asks, my father is an atheist but I am a practicing Muslim. Alhamdulillah. He says that if there is Allah, why is he so rude with those who are not Muslims? What will happen to them if they do not know about Islam as they are spending a simple life? The brother has asked the question regarding these non-Muslims that why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so rude with them and what will happen to them if they are leading a simple life? Brother, I disagree with you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is rude with the non-Muslims but in fact Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is kind he is merciful to the non-Muslims he has given them so many facilities he has given them the shelter the house food so many things in this life even though they are disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even though they are associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is kind with these people and he is giving them all that they require. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is not rude with these non-Muslims. The water that we need for living, if we do not get it for a few days, we will die. The air that we breathe, if we do not get it for a few minutes, we will die. The water, the air, all these things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us human beings, has given even to these non-Muslims, even though they are denying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but yet he is kind and generous with these very non-Muslims now what will happen to these people to these non-Muslims if they are leading a simple life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Fusila chapter number 41 verse number 53 سَنُورِيهِمْ آيَاتِينَا فِي الْآفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ أَنَّهُ الْحَقِّ Soon we shall show them our signs in the furthest regions of the horizons and into their souls until it is clear to them that this is the truth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he takes it upon himself that he will deliver the message to each and every human being. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that every child is born in Deen al-Fitrah. It is later on that his parents, they make him a Christian, they make him a Hindu, etc. But every child is born on Deen al-Fitrah, that is, he's born in the religion of Islam. Later on, his parents, they make him a Hindu, they make him a Christian, etc. That's the reason whenever a person embraces Islam, the right word that we should use is revert rather than convert. And it is the duty of every Muslim to convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it. We have the example of the Australian Aborigines. They did not come into contact with modern civilization till late as 1950. And they believed in Tawheed, that is the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is an innate nature, it is a fitra that whenever any person is born, he is born in the religion of Islam and this is the fitra that he believes in one God, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة